Hi, I'm your host, Sorlin Bharatiya, and welcome to our series on tech predictions for 2021. Our next oracle is Kit Merker, Chief Operating Officer at Noble Line. Kit, first of all, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Before I ask you to pick up your crystal ball and tell me about your prediction, can you please tell me a bit about the company Noble Line? We're a platform designed to help people measure the reliability of their software as a service and set uh, reliability goals. So you kind of think about you know 99.9% availability um, may not give you the whole picture. And so we instrument on top of monitoring systems like Datadog and New Relic, and we help you define in uh, in code, in infrastructure as code style uh, development tools, uh, the actual service level objectives you have for your system, and then allow you to build your automation on top of that. So the idea is to really uh, predict and prevent outages before they happen by measuring uh, reliability metrics and putting that against a real goal. That's really the, the key idea. So building a feedback loop inside of your organization between business stakeholders and the technical stakeholders. Um, so you can actually make better decisions about feature features versus technical debt, um, how you respond to incidents or maybe ignore incidents, um, and overall making better investment decisions around reliability and uh, DevOps modernization. Awesome. Now I have a very good idea of what you guys do now. Now it's time for you to uh, go grab your crystal ball and tell me what predictions do you have for 2021. Well, the the first prediction that we're going to make, and I, you know, I went and talked to my team about it. We were racking our brains. You know, there's some obvious predictions out there about work from home and internet, home internet is critical infrastructure. And so we were trying to do something that wasn't necessarily obvious. But so the, the thing we all kind of circled in on was uh, 2021 will be the year that we rein in YAML. And uh, what what we mean by that is, you know, YAML, uh, yet another markup language, right? has become kind of the language of uh, how people program Kubernetes and cloud native computing. And um, in fact, we even use it in Noble9 for how we describe our SLOs. Uh, and we think that this is the year that the tooling and the automation are finally gonna catch up with the promise because YAML is an amazing format for the computers, not necessarily the best language for programming it. The second prediction we're making is around how infrastructure will become more opinionated. You know, one thing we've heard a lot from, from people is that, you know, they wanna go back to kind of the old school, you know, Heroku, PaaS style of infrastructure that today we have so many options for how to run uh, cloud infrastructure. And, uh, and my, you know, myself, I worked on the Kubernetes project, which is a very open-ended kind of approach to, to running everything. And what it's caused is a bunch of proliferation. So we're, we're kind of predicting that in 2021, that some of the stacks uh, for different ways of running computing will solidify and people will be able to, um, to kind of run their infrastructure uh, uh, more easily because they'll constrain themselves with more opinionated systems. And maybe that's a bold claim, maybe not, but that's kind of a direction that we're predicting. If 2020 has taught us anything, it's that right, predictions are very uh, difficult. And um, one of the areas that, uh, you know, I think uh, may be obvious, as I was kind of saying before, but the kind of obvious is this sort of work from home future. And it's really a, a big question if we'll be going back to the office or if we'll be Kind of uh, doing this forever, so we're we're predicting that uh, events will be back next year, but they will be uh, much less attended, and that organizations that are doing um, marketing and and kinds of engaging with their communities are going to have to find ways to do a hybrid between uh, in person and at home. So that's uh, and remote, I should say. Um, so that's that's one thing we expect to continue in the next year. Maybe not a controversial prediction, but uh, something we're looking ahead to. Kit, uh, thanks for sharing these predictions with us. I would love to have you back on the show in uh, 2021 to see how many of your predictions turn out to be true, though you did play safe there and some, some of your predictions were something which are like on spot. So anyway, uh, thank you so much and uh, I would love to talk to you again. Thank you, Swap, and uh, looking forward to talking again.